Nigeria is just days away from choosing a new leader. All 18 presidential candidates signed a peace pledge on Wednesday in a move to prevent unrest around the election. They agreed to accept the outcome of the vote or go through the courts to address any grievances. General elections in the past have been marred by violence and similar peace pacts have been made since 2015. Meanwhile, militants have threatened to make voting impossible for many thousands of Nigeria's 93 million registered voters. The Electoral Commission insists that it has addressed widespread insecurity and made strides in tackling fraud that marked previous polls. President Buhari Muhammadu has also urged Nigerians to refrain from violence during the election period. Let me remind all Nigerians, not for the first time, that this is the only country we have, and we must do everything to keep it safe, united, and peaceful. There should be no rights or acts of violence after the assignment of the election results. All grievances, personal or institutional, should be channeled to the relevant courts. Well, let's now bring in Deji Badimoisi, who is in Lagos, Nigeria. Hi there, Deji. So much is happening just days before the election, Deji. Candidates are pledging to maintain peace, but there are some reports indicating a Senate candidate has been shot. What more can you tell us about that development, Deji? Yes, Hannah, indeed, uh, a senatorial candidate of uh, the Labour Party in the southeastern state of Enugu uh, was killed uh, on Wednesday, uh, Wednesday evening, and uh, he was killed alongside five other supporters. Now, what we have uh, learned is that um, his uh, vehicle was stopped uh, somewhere in uh, a local government known as Okunano, and then uh, the, 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 the gunmen, unidentified gunmen, now opened fire on uh, all of them uh, in the vehicle, five of them, including the, the, this candidate, senatorial candidate. And uh, after killing them, uh, the assailants now uh, set their, their vehicle now on, on fire, so they, they were set ablaze. It, it's a terrible, uh, terrible story coming out of uh, the, the, the southeast of the country. And, and of course, you know, um, the southeast, of course, has been a major flashpoint as far as security is concerned. And uh, as we move closer to the election, we know a separatist group in that part of the country has issued uh, a statement that election will not take place there. As a matter of fact, it's, it's gone ahead to declare that day as a, a seat at home day, that people should just stay at home and not come out. And besides this, we've seen uh, attacks on INEC facilities as well in that part of the country. But um, what the military and, and the security agents uh, are saying is that, look, they are on top of the situation, that election will take place there, that people should not be scared, that they should come out and vote. So uh, we understand security is being beefed up uh, in the southeast, seriously, but um, th there's no doubt at all that um, with this latest attack now and uh, the series of attacks we've seen in that part of the country in, in the past few days, uh, that there is a chance that uh, it could deter some voters from coming out uh, uh, to vote on election day. But, um, you know, we, we just have to wait and see how it plays out on election day. But certainly uh, the security situation in the southeast of the country is not so conducive or not so good as we, as we move closer now to uh, the election. Um, Deja, I'm going to ask you about preparations as we head to Saturday in a moment. But for now, I just want to ask you, what are you hearing people that you speak to on the streets of Nigeria who are wanting to go and vote when they consider the security situation? What are people there saying? Well, it, it depends on what part of the country you are. I mean, uh, in, in the south of the country, especially the southwest of the country now, um, the, the, the excitement is really high. Uh, the, the mood is high. Ev everyone is looking forward to go uh, vote on, on election day. But let me say this, Hannah. Um, this whole ele electoral process has been overshadowed by uh, the, the cash crunch uh, in, in the country now. That's Naira. A redesigned policy of, of the government so that there is a problem with that I, i've spoken with some people who have said 
uh, they will find it difficult to go vote if they can't get access to cash because of some of them they say um, you know they're just not happy with the situation but other than that people are actually looking forward to this election of course in places where you have uh, security challenges just like uh, the southeast of the country despite uh, the security situation there there are those i have spoken to uh, who have come out to say no matter what that they would be coming out to vote on election day so um some some people have have been quite defiant that in spite of the security situation that they will come out to vote so uh so you have that but then you also have those who who have expressed uh, fear that um you know that they may find it difficult to come out to vote if uh, if if, if secure the security situation does not improve then you go to the northeast of the country where you have insurgency as well and then in some areas of uh, the south i mean northwest now where you have uh, banditry uh, the, the truth is that for for some time now uh those areas uh, appear to be calm. I mean, the, the security situation appear to be very much under control in those areas. So we, we expect that uh, there will be huge turnout of, of voters in, in, in those areas. But then um, you, you never can rule anything out. Security still remain, uh, remains, it remains a concern now in some of those areas. And uh, we just wait and see what happens. But obviously, security still remains a big concern in some parts of the country. Hannah? Thank you so much for all that, Deji. I'm sure we'll continue to hear from you as we head to Saturday.